If you're ever paying a visit to Liverpool, England, be sure to take a walk down to the dockside. There you should find a boat ride agency's building. Head inside and ask the first staff member you see if it will be possible to speak to the manager. He will say no and quickly begin to walk away from you. Do not, under any circumstances, give up from this point onwards. For if you ask for the manager with intentions of completing this ritual, without finishing it, you will never be seen again. Follow the staff member until he reaches a run-down green door. You will know the door because all the other doors in the buildings are blue. Before he can end... Before he can enter, grab his right shoulder and say these exact words. They have sent me for the knowledge key. Say nothing more and nothing less. The staff member will step aside, allowing you to open the door and step inside. He will slam the door shut behind you and you'll be left in pitch darkness. I would advise you closing your eyes as soon as you enter the room, to save yourself from accidentally opening them later. You will hear a heavy breathing behind you but it is unknown what happens if you turn around. After a minute or so, the breathing will stop, and will be replaced by a blood-curdling scream right next to your ear. Be expectant of it, and do not show any signs of shock when you hear it. After another minute, the lights will turn back on. As soon as this happens, close your eyes tightly shut if you haven't already. There will be a mirror in front of you, and a man sat behind you. If you look at either the individual's eyes or their reflection, it is rumoured that you will be erased from existence. He will ask you why you are there. Reply with the same phrase as before, they have sent me for the knowledge key, and wait for him to respond. He will say one of two things. One option is that he will ask, who is it that sent you? If he asks for this information, reply, the same men that brought you here. The scream will be heard once more this time louder and even closer. Ignore it again. The man will then stab you in the back, throwing you forwards into the mirroring process, and knocking you unconscious. You'll wake up outside the building where you first started, with no visible wounds. You can attempt to repeat the ritual if you dare, but beware, getting the same response twice results in you dying in the room, never to be discovered. The other response the man may give you is another question. He will ask you what you desire. If you pr reply with a way out, he will obliterate you, transforming you into a pile of dust. Asking for material matters will result in your suffering for an eternity of being trapped under ice cold snow, suffocating but not allowed to die. You can ask the man for one of two things, the knowledge key or the sacred chance. Asking for the knowledge key will make the man impact impart upon you the secrets of the world, how it came to be, who created it, how it will all end, and will kill you in the same manner as if the man asked who sent you earlier, you will wake up again outside the building unharmed. However, you will never be able to speak, see, hear anything ever again, and will slowly be driven insane by a newfound knowledge which you cannot share. If you ask the man for the sacred chance, you will place a small glass in your hands. You must feel the dimensions of the glass. If the glass is taller than it is wide, all hope is lost for you. If you drink the liquid, you will be poisoned and your heart will fail, but your brain will remain alive, and you will be forever aware of your lonely existence. If you open your eyes, you will look into the eyes of the room's inhabitant. This is sure to result in a fate far worse than death. The only remaining viable option is to throw the liquid forward into the man's eyes. If you aim correctly and get the liquid in his eyes, they will close, but he will lash out about wildly with his knife. You must turn and try to run out of the door, being sure to slam it behind you. You will be forever chased by the man you left in the room. He will visit you in your sleep and haunt your thoughts and lessen your guard down for just one moment will result in your death. If the glass is wider than it is tall, as my glass was. Drink its contents in one gulp. As soon as you have swallowed the liquid, open your eyes, the man will be gone, and you will be facing the door from which you entered. Leave out the same door, closing it behind you, but be careful of not looking back. From that point onwards, you will dream every night of the secrets of the world, so vividly as if the visions were real. 
However, you will forget them as soon as you awaken. I believe that my fate is perhaps the worst of all, being so close yet so far from the truth. If you do decide to complete this ritual, beware. For the only, for the only way for somebody like me to recover from my dream knowledge is to kill another survivor. <laughs>